Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. This week's plan with me, I'm going to be using this kit. Um, it was a kit that I released into my shop last week. It was called Gaming Dreams. And I designed this because it's my son's birthday this week. So I wanted to use a kit that's kind of geared towards him and he's all about gaming. So that's kind of how this kit come about. But I wanted to put a pastel twist on there so I could use it in my planner and it not look completely out of place. <laughs> so that is... Um, the kit that I'm going to be using. I'm going to start off by putting the tiny date dots onto the date covers and then put that down. In a little while my uh, camera had stopped recording so it kind of shut itself off and I didn't realise so it's going to jump in a little bit um, but you haven't missed much. It's nothing exciting so we're okay. It just jumps down to where I'm putting some of the headers down so it's been a while since I've planned with a full kit. I've been using a lot of mini kits lately or just full boxes and um, I was just excited to use headers. So um, yeah, here I am putting all of the headers down. And because I decided to put headers down and I don't normally, I thought, well, I might as well just switch up my whole layout that I usually do. So um, I kind of decided this on the spot. So I hadn't pre-planned or anything, so I'm just kind of guessing what to do. But I decided just to put all of the full boxes just straight in the middle. Um, I actually kind of like how it turned out. I'm not sure if I would plan like this all the time in my planner, but it's nice to kind of switch up what you do. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like the look of this. And then once I put all of the full boxes down in the middle, oh, I put the one on the uh, sidebar too, then I can go in uh, day by day. So for my Hello Monday section, I'm just taking a quarter box and one of the puppets from the feeling sheet with the love heart eyes. I am uh, using a different pen, it's an old pen actually, it's the erasable pen. This I really really love and um, it's starting to run out of ink so it's not the blackest but it's so good for writing in planners because it rubs itself out and doesn't leave anything behind, it's really really good. I'll try and link it down below if I can um, remember where I got it from. I think it's one of those pens you kind of acquire, maybe I stole it from someone, it could be possible. Yeah, I think maybe I did because I don't remember buying them. Otherwise, I would have bought definitely more than one. So um, I'm going on a pen hunt now after this. Um, next up, I used a Planner Monkey Co. post-it note. And inside, I just decided to put one of my tiny poppets and just write down that it was half term. And then I think I'm just going to write back over it just because it wasn't as black. Like I said, the ink is running out. Now down at the bottom section, I've put one of my new tea part two poppets and just write time for tea. And then the computer screen there is for me to do some orders. And then I've got some deliveries due on Monday. So I've put down one of my happy mail poppets. And then I want to extend um, all of the days this week. So I've decided to take my checklists and I've just sliced them down. So that way they will fit and I can extend the day. I've got a really busy week this week especially as I had a sale last week. So um, I definitely need the extra room. So I've just put that down there. And then moving over to Tuesday. So on Tuesday, I've used the poppets that, sorry, <laughs> the birthday part two poppets as I need to wrap a lot of presents. And then the half box I've put down there is for me to print um, the invoices of the orders that I'm going to be doing. And then moving down to my little jobs, I've got one of the post and deliver poppets as I want to prep all of my sale orders. And then from the bin poppets, I've used the little um, rubbish sticker. And that's for me to sort out rubbish in like my office area. I've got lots of um, recycling and rubbish kind of mixed in together. So I just want to separate them out. And then I've used another birthday part two poppet as I want to blow up a load of balloons on Tuesday night ready for my son's birthday on Wednesday. So it doesn't matter how old you are, you need balloons on your birthday. And then again, I'm just slicing down these uh, checklists so then I can extend my day. And I think I'll just go ahead and put the blue one down as well, if I remember. Yeah, I did. And then moving over to Wednesday. So Wednesday is my son's birthday. So I've not put a lot of plans down because I'm not sure what we're doing. Um, I know he's going to go and see his girlfriend, which he's so excited about because he hasn't been with her for a very long time. So I just took the washi that came with the kit behind a half box that I just flipped up onto its side. And again, I'm taking the birthday part two sheet and putting a pop it down. And then I can write down Harvey birthday. And then moving down to my little jobs, 
I think I cut this out by accident, but um, the gold family time sticker that I'm going to be putting on top of this washi is from the Ginger Cat Co. I have no idea what happened to the footage, it's, it, it disappeared. Um, and then I've used some of the barbecue poppets because we'll be having a birthday dinner and whose ever birthday it is, they get to choose the dinner. I'm sure everybody does that. Now over to Thursday, I've I started off by putting a PC down and a silhouette from Autumn Crafting, I think it was. And I think the PC was from the Lipstick Planner. I really should um, write these down. Uh, but I decided to move them down so that way I could get a coffee sticker in. So these are the Coffee Part 2 stickers and I just wrote down So Busy. And the um, laptop was for my orders and then the silhouette obviously is to print and cut. And my phone's ringing. Pretty sure that my phone goes off in every single voiceover. I'm gonna have to start literally putting it in my planner to um, make my phone go on silent when I'm going to be doing a voiceover. Anyway, um, so for my little things on Thursday, I want to pack a load of orders. I need to get some laundry done, so I've used the poppet washing line, and then my green bins go out on that day as well. And then I'll just put down the checklists that I've already cut in half all the way along. And then for Saturday and Sunday, I just put the slightly smaller, like the leftover bits, because I don't need to extend my day that much at the weekend. And then for Friday, I've used a quarter box with a post and deliver pop it on, as I want to post out all of the orders that I've done this week. You'd think that I would silent my phone. I'm going to do it right now. Getting back to um, Friday, so I've put down a half box to mark my new release or get my new release ready for Saturday. And then down at the bottom for my littles, I use one of the bows that came with the kit as I want to design a project. I've used a food poppet to mark down that I need to do a food shop. And then I'll also put down a podcast poppet as I'm still listening to the podcast Wine and Crime. Uh, it's very good if you're looking for another podcast to listen to, then I would definitely suggest that one. It was actually suggested to me um, by someone I think I put on Instagram I think that um, I was looking for some new podcasts to listen to and that was one of them that was suggested and then for Saturday I've put down one of the washi strips that came with the kit and then I wanted to use one of my large poppets because I rarely use them um, but he was just a little bit too big so we've just sliced him in half sorry about that <laughs> but he's still happy so we're all good and then moving down to my little bits I wanted to do some housework and clean up my windows and then do more laundry and I think all three of these came from the home life sheet and then moving over to Sunday I've used one of the gold foil stickers from rose colored days for me to film next week's plan with me and then I decided I wanted to prep ready for the orders that I'll be doing on Monday so I just took a piece of deco that came with the kit and just wrote prep for orders and then for my littles I've used a film clapper from Rose Coloured Days to edit the plan with me and then the little piggy bank for me to transfer some money is also from Rose Coloured Days and then I've put down a sleepy time poppet because I'm always so tired on a Sunday and I just wrote down, is it bedtime yet? Because normally I go to bed super early on a Sunday. Moving over to my sidebar, I used the leftover of the washi strip that I had used before and then I've put down a next week header and then one of the checklists that came with the kit and I will be putting down my habit tracker in my sidebar and then I think I just filled up, yeah, I filled up the space with just a quarter box and a bow sticker on top of that. And I thought I would use some of the deco, well, literally all of the deco, because I go deco crazy. As soon as I've placed one tiny bit of deco, that's it, it all has to go down. So that included everything from these page flags to bows to all of the tiny little arrows. In fact, I think I sped this up a little bit more. <laughs> just so we could get through it without sitting here for ages. I have the too much gene. I think we've been through this many times before. I can't help it. But that was it for this week's spread. I hope you guys like the different layout this week. Um, if you did then make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. I decided to do a close up outro this week. 
just because everything else was different so I thought I would do a different ending. If you placed an order last week during my sale I just want to say thank you so much and I'm really looking forward to posting out everybody's orders. I hope wherever you are you've had an amazing day so far and I will speak to you all next time. Bye guys!